What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky B here, back with week number eight of our Oakland Raiders franchises. The Raiders are getting ready to take on the Cleveland Browns. This is going to be a very important game for us. We just lost our last game to the Cardinals. And as a young team, we can't really afford to go on a two-game losing streak, especially with how competitive our division has been so far. A win is going to be essential in this game. We are on the road, and we're going up against Johnny Football here. Not having a great season so far for him, but however, he's Johnny Football. He's a playmaker. He's capable of doing things that not many other quarterbacks can do, and it's something we're going to have to keep an eye on, or he'll make us pay throughout this game. So let's go ahead. We got DeAnthony Thomas back returning kicks. The Huff experiment didn't work out, so I'm excited to have Thomas back. Again, Johnny Manziel is going to be the starting quarterback for the Browns. Hoyer is going to be his backup at running back. They are going to roll with Deion Lewis, and then you got Crowell, the rookie. So another guy to keep an eye on. You know, he's got a little bit more speed um, out of the running back position than Lewis. So Josh Gordon going to be the wide receiver. Santonio San Holmes, Miles Austin, and Nate Burleson, a lot of veterans that they can rely on. Um, which is always good to have for a rookie quarterback. Jordan Cameron is going to be the tight end. Joe Thomas, one of the best left tackles in the NFL, if not the best. And then they have Alex Mack. He had a secret world at some point. I don't know if y'all know that or not, but, you know, he's a pretty solid center himself. So defensively, we might be able to take advantage of a few matchups. They have Dansby coming over, very good player, uh, trying to captain that defense. And then Joe Hayden, one of the best corners in the NFL. And then they brought over Whitner as well. But there is still, you know matchups that I feel like we can exploit and that's going to be very essential for us to winning this game let's go ahead and kick things off now though DAT back to return but this one is going to go out of bounds so the Raiders are going to take over on the 20 yard line starting things off Derek Carr hands it off to Maurice Jones Drew however there's going to be a holding penalty so it's going to be first and 18 for the Raiders now across the middle that one's going to get dropped second and 18 going deep to our Monty Edwards and he could not hold on to the pass he could have been gone 80 yards for a touchdown if he could have just come down with it actually it would have been more than 80 yards it would have been 88 um, unfortunately, he could not hold on to the ball. He's going to get the catch on the next play. It's not going to be enough for the first down. So Deion Lewis and the Browns taking over on the left side. That's going to go for about four yards, second and six. Now Lewis trying to get that first down. It's not going to be there. Third and one. One more try here, and Lewis will get across that first down mark now. First and ten on the right side. Tries to do a little spin move. It's not going to work. Second and eight for the Browns, and they are just running the ball relentlessly right now. Crow, the rookie this time, has nowhere to go. Actually loses three yards on the play. Manziel breaks the sack. He has pressure coming, and he is going to get taken down. They're going to give him a rush, though. They're not going to give us a sack on the play, but that's okay. We made the stop, which is the only important thing. A five-yard run there on the left side. Almost intercepted. That could have been bad. Third and five, Derek Carr is going to scramble on the left side of the field. A nice run there by Derek Carr. That goes for 11 yards. New first down for the Raiders. Chris Owusu making the catch. Six-yard gain there. Maurice Jones-Drew this time is going to get stuffed. Third and two on the left side. Chris Owusu, another first down grab. He is so good at those third down plays. McFadden up the middle is going to pick up three. Second and seven now. Maurice Jones drew nowhere to go. It's going to be third and seven. Pressure is coming for Derek Carr. He finds Marcel Reese on a little screen play. And Marcel Reese will pick up the first down. Down to about the 35-yard line for the Raiders. They are marching down the field. That one is overthrown to Ellington a little bit on the left side of the field. That one's going to be batted down. So third and ten. And Osbury with an incredible catch there. He really jumped up high to bring that ball down. And a terrible pass by Derek Carr there. His target wasn't even moving. I don't know what happened with that throw but it's going to bring up third and six after a four-yard run. Derek Carr, he has pressure coming, and he just throws the ball away. That is going to bring up fourth down. Janikowski will kick it through the uprights to give the Raiders the 3 nothing lead. However, I feel like we had a few missed opportunities there. A weird pass by Derek Carr in that uh, second down play. I really don't know what happened there, or maybe it was the first down, but... Yeah, just a weird pass. You know, I, I believe it was to Denarius Tom or Denarius Moore. I'm sorry, um, but I don't know what happened. It, it was a little interesting there. Anyway, Manziel is currently marching down the field with the Browns. Jordan Cameron this time picking up the first down. Down to the 21-yard line. Deion Lewis is going to get stuffed there. So second and 10. Crowell, the rookie, up the middle. A nice run there by Crow. They are going to uh, – he's not going to get the first down. On the very next play, he will, though. So down to the 7-yard line. First and goal. For the Browns here, Deion Lewis takes it down to about the three. They are marching down the field. Play action and Barnage into the end zone. Touchdown for the Browns. Johnny Manziel captained that offense like a pro right there. 
and the Raiders defense had no solutions unfortunately the Browns are going to take the lead seven to three it's going to be important for the Raiders to score here and not let this game get out of hand third and 13 now Marcel Reese on the left side that is a quick three and out for the Raiders they are giving the ball right back to Manziel who hands it off to Dion Lewis on the left side for a two-yard gain second and eight now Lewis again fighting his way up the left side almost picks up the first down it's gonna be inches but Barnage on the very next play is gonna make the grab up to the 34 yard line Manziel with time on the right side he finds Hawkins Hawkins out of bounds after a four yard gain second and six now on the right side going again cannot pick up the first down it's gonna be third and three for the Browns Raiders defense needs to make a stand but Johnny Manziel is gonna run the ball an incredible run there up to the 43 yard line Deion Lewis this time loses the yard it's going to be second and 11 for Manziel. And pressure is coming, and he escapes the original pursuit. However, Justin Tuck is going to get the sack. Third and 15 now for the Browns. Down the field, almost intercepted by the Raiders. That's going to bring up fourth down for the Browns. They're going to punt the ball away here. This one's going down to DeAnthony Thomas at about the 17-yard line, but he muffs the punt, and the Browns are going to jump on it. They ruled it down. I don't know why they ruled it down. He could have returned that into the end zone. Weird referee call there, but a huge play. Muffing the punt there, and the Browns are going to have the ball back down at the 17-yard line. A two-yard run by Lewis there will take it to the 15 on the right side this time. He takes it down to about the 10-yard line, and the Browns, third and three. They're in a position to score here if they can get a first down. Nate Burleson is not going to be able to make it happen, though. The Browns are going to settle for a field goal, but a huge turnover there as we give the job back to DeAnthony Thomas. He ends up muffing the punt, and the Browns get three points out of it, giving them a seven-point lead now. The score is 10-3, uh, to 3, and the Raiders have about four minutes to go before halftime. We need to make something happen here so we do not go into the half with the Browns having all the momentum. First and 10 now, Derek Carr, just another wild pass, nowhere near his target. I don't know what's going on with him today. You know, he is a rookie, so we're going to see some inconsistent play by him, but... Third and 18 now after the sack and another sack. The Browns' defense has been relentless. Whitner making the play this time. First and 10 for Manziel. He is going down the field, and he was lucky not to get that ball picked off there. He's going to try scrambling nowhere to go. It's going to be third and 14 right up the middle. That one is going to go for about eight yards. So the Raiders are going to have about a minute left to make something happen here. Bruce Ellington with the catch that time. Only goes for a yard. Pressure is coming again. And once more, Derek Carr is going down with the sack, almost like his brother in his rookie season where he just got hit all the time. This first half has been controlled by the Browns, and the Raiders are extremely lucky to only be down seven. We still have a whole half to play, guys, but if you look at these stats, it is brutal. Worst first half of the season for us so far, but I will see you guys in the second half, guys. Back in the second half now, guys. The Browns are going to start off with the ball. It's very important that the Raiders hold strong here on defense. Despite getting dominated in the first half, they're actually only down by seven points. So they're still very much in this game, but Santonio Holmes down the left side of the field will make a huge catch. Manziel is marching this Browns team down the field. He finds uh, Deion Lewis that time for about an eight-yard gain on the left side. Crowell this time. Crowell will not pick up the first down, but Deion Lewis on the very next play will down to the 24-yard line. Manziel. Pressure's coming. He gets the ball off to Isaiah Crowell, the rookie, and another nice play by the Browns down to the six-yard line. And Manziel looking into the end zone. He has nothing. Pressure's coming. He scrambles on the left side into the end zone. Touchdown, Johnny Football. And he is playing like a veteran today. Unbelievable play, making something out of nothing with his legs there. And that's going to give the Browns a 14-point lead. Derek Carr needs to get this offense going. He needs to make something happen here. He finds Bruce Ellington on the left side. That's going to be good for a first down. This time he hands it off to Maurice Jones-Drew. Nowhere to go. Second and 10 now. And he is looking for a Wusu, but throws it way too far ahead of him. It was supposed to be behind him a little bit. And I don't know where the miscommunication was on that play. But the Browns are going to pick off... Uh, car there and take the ball back over Jordan Cameron this time on the right side that's going to go for about five yards third and ten now pressure's coming man zeal is not going to escape pressure this time Sims getting his second sack of the day so they're going to try to go for an extremely long field goal they had the wind at their back and he had the leg on it but it went just wide left so just like that, the Raiders have great field position as Maurice Jones-Drew picks up a yard on the play. Play action this time. Bruce Ellington with the nice grab down to about the 33-yard line after a 17-yard gain there. 
Then Denarius Moore on the left side gains 13 down to the 20-yard line. So all of a sudden, the Raiders are marching down the field. He's going to get hit as he throws at that time. Second and 10, almost intercepted. It's going to bring up third and 10 for the Raiders. Carr finds Denarius Moore down the right side of the field. A 17-yard gain down to the 3-yard line. Pressure's coming. That one's going to get batted down. It's going to be second and goal for Derek Carr. Denarius Moore, who has been great throughout this drive, catching the touchdown pass from Derek Carr. And just like that, we're back to only a seven-point game. So the Raiders are still very much in this. They need to make some plays on defense, get the ball back soon as Manziel finds Crowell on the right side of the field. It's going to be third and five now. This is a huge play in the game. Manziel finds Josh Gordon for the first down. First and ten now. Deion Lewis on the right side. Gains about three yards there. Second and seven on the left side this time. Nowhere to go. So it is going to be third and six now. Manziel dropping back. This is a huge play. He breaks one tackle. He's scrambling again. Another play by Manziel to move the chains down the field. And that is going to get the Browns another first down. First and 10. Crowell on the left side this time. A stiff arm. And he is still going. The rookie with unbelievable effort there. He has 41 yards on only four carries. Deion Lewis up the middle is going to pick up seven yards. Second and three. Manziel is going to try to scramble again. His second Rushing touchdown of the game. Manziel has been on fire in this game. The Raiders have absolutely no answer to stopping him right now. As Jones Drew takes the ball four yards up the middle there. Second and six. Derek Carr needs to respond here. But he is going to get hurt on this play. And it is serious, guys. I don't know what's going on, but he will not return for this game. Hopefully, he's not out long. Matt Schaub comes into the game and throws a pick six right off the bat. Gibson is gone. And just like that, the Browns extend their lead even more. The starting quarterback for the Raiders is down. Schaub came in, made a mistake. And it is 31-10 in the blink of an eye. The Browns are running away with this game now. On the right side, McFadden catches the pass. Picks up about five there. Third and five now. And Greg Little is not going to be able to hold on this ball. Marquette King is going to come in for the punt. And if you guys have paid attention throughout the season, he has been phenomenal. I wanted to show this punt because he gets it out on the one-yard line. He has been doing that frequently. Charles Woodson trying to get the safety there, but Deion Lewis takes it back out to the one-yard line. On the very next play, the Browns are going to run it out of danger. A six-yard run there, third and three now. And then Jordan Cameron is going to make a nice grab up to about the 20-yard line. Deion Lewis up the middle not much there he only gained about three second and seven for Isaiah Crowell who has been fantastic for the Browns throughout this game and Crowell again on the left side fighting his way up still picks up four yards despite not having much to work with Deion Lewis up the middle is going to pick up the first down the Raiders are just struggling to stop the Browns from marching down the field they have been so good throughout this entire game as Crowell Fighting his way will not pick up the first down. Third and inches. This is a huge play, but he will pick it up on the very next try. Picked up four yards. Deion Lewis this time. Nowhere to go. So it's second and 12. The Raiders can still get back into this game. They fumble the ball, but Barnage jumps on the ball. Third and seven now. Up the middle. Nowhere to go. The wind is against the Browns now, so they're actually going to punt the ball away. Shop hands it off to Maurice Jones-Drew, and we're actually going to make a change, guys. We're going to throw in Connor Shaw. Let's see what he can do. And on his very first NFL pass, he finds his college teammate, Bruce Ellington. Connor Shaw again on the left side of the field. Bruce Ellington, a 28-yard reception, and the South Carolina connection is working. It's the first time we've seen some life from this Raiders offense all day long. Connor Shaw on the left side. He's only going to pick up about three yards on the run there. Pressure's coming again. He'll get the ball off to Maurice Jones-Drew. It's not going to be enough for a first down, but it'll pick up four. Third and three now for Connor Shaw. Maurice Jones-Drew again, and Connor Shaw is coming in and breathing some life into this Raider offense that has been stagnant throughout the day. Almost takes a sack there. He gets the ball off. Second and 10 now on the left side of the field. Chris Owusu cannot hold on to the ball. Third and 10 now. A little play action. And Greg Little with a huge grab down to about the 23-yard line. Connor Shaw again going to try to run. He's not going to be able to escape the pressure and taking the sack there. Second and 17. Maurice Jones-Drew on the right side. He's going down the sideline and dives to about the three-yard line. Connor Shaw is working this Raiders offense like a charm right now. On the left side, that one's going to get batted down. It's going to bring up second and goal for Connor Shaw. This time, he overthrows Bruce Ellington. Third and goal now. Pressure's coming. He gets the ball off. Batted down. Fourth and goal. They're going 
to go for it. Connor Shaw gets the ball off and finds his South Carolina teammate, Bruce Ellington. The South Carolina rookies leading the Raiders down the field there. And they already have a chemistry that is clear and obvious for us to see. And, you know, we don't know how bad this injury is right now with Derek Carr. But... It's interesting. We got another quarterback controversy. Connor Shaw comes in, marches the Raiders down the field to score right off the bat, and he might have to get the start going into next game if Derek Carr is not good to go. Um, but ultimately, the Raiders are going to lose this game. It was probably the worst game we've had of the season so far. Really disappointing. I don't feel like the Browns are that much of a better team than us. And, you know, we just dropped the ball. Manziel had an incredible game. And he did, there was just no stopping him. But Connor Shaw, 109.3 quarterback rating, 7 of 12. He had those three incompletions from the third yard line. Sometimes it gets bunched up and it's difficult to make throws down there. Uh, but Shaw, you know, he really didn't play well. Derek Carr was even struggling today. Um, he had a touchdown and an interception, but he was really struggling to move the chains. And that's what we needed today. And it didn't happen. So as we look at the rest of the stats, guys, I'm going to say something really quick. Next episode, the next news episode, I've got an idea. And I'm incredibly excited about this. So I really hope you guys stay tuned and pay attention uh, for the, or stay tuned for that next video because I think it's something that we could have a lot of fun with. And it's something I'm going to try to incorporate in this series moving forward um, throughout either every news video or maybe at the end of game day videos. I haven't decided yet. I know it's a mystery. You guys don't know what I'm talking about yet, but I promise you. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and it's definitely going to involve things, um, elements that I haven't really used before. So I'm kind of looking forward to it. I hope it works out. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say that really quick before uh, the video ended. But as you check around the stats, you know, we're struggling. We're struggling. DJ Hayden is getting better, though. He forced the fumble. I like to see that. But, you know, we, we got to figure out a way to get our offense going a little bit more and our defense to make some stops. But thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Later.